five parents and students at Wheat Ridge High pushing for the return of their football coach. Reed Call was fired following comments he sent to another student over Facebook. Now a group is coming to his defense. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson was at today's rally. And Molly, the families who support his termination aren't talking today. Now we spoke to one of those parents who tells us the coach got what he deserved and there's nothing more to say. But another group is pushing for his return. They have collected nearly 600 signatures urging both the principal and superintendent to hire him back. Not far from the Wheat Ridge football field, cheerleaders rally not for the players. This one's for the coach. We're out here to get our coach back. Their coach, Reed Call, was fired following these controversial Facebook posts, blasting one player, saying, Your family makes me want to puke. Don't ever affiliate yourself with WR football. My reaction was, Wow, that was probably a little strong, but I didn't feel like. Uh, that, that this that's been taken this far is, is unwarranted. Parents like Sean Bloomer say it's all been blown out of proportion. He says the coach was defending his decision to play his own son, freshman Ryan Call, as quarterback. The, the backlash from a few families upset their kids weren't getting enough game time. It's just the way it works. The, the best 11 players are on the field. And uh, if you're not one of them, that's an unfortunate part of the game. And while Coach Call wasn't at the rally, his son was. It's awesome. You know, it really touches me that, you know, all these people come out here to support my dad. Putting his support behind his dad and his reputation on the field. I think he's been very fair to every single kid out on this, on this field. Um, I, I, I honestly don't think you're going to find a better coach in this area. He's changed kids' lives here, honestly. <laughs> And Coach Call has led the team to two state championships. He declined an on-camera interview, but told us he's sorry for the comments he made, and he's never in his 24 years as a coach been reprimanded for his behavior. Reporting live in the newsroom, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.